Oliver, and today I'm going to be talking about Luxo. Why well, I think Luxo is going to be the altcoin of 2023 due to the mainnet launch and the innovative tech that they're bringing to the table. Like I said, it's all connected back to the Ethereum Foundation, and I think this guy is the key for making Ethereum popular and what it is today. So Luxo is the next generation Ethereum virtual machine blockchain based on Casper proof of stake and will be the foundation for the new creative economy. Luxo, what they're trying to do is create their own barrier, their own lane, and I think it's going to work out perfectly. We're not seeing a lot of fashion brands or fashion designers entering in the crypto space yet because there's no blockchain that's specific to fashion or creativity. That's what Luxo is pretty much and I respect it just the fact, you know, it's different. It's more like a lifestyle type of blockchain. All right, so getting to the interesting part about Luxo. So the people behind it. So we have Marjorie Hernandez. So Marjorie is a multi-factor innovation and product expert, equals part entrepreneur and designer. She's a trained architect, strategist, and innovation consultant. So Marjorie worked in art directions across Europe before establishing herself as a brand strategist. She created and managed EY's Digital Innovation Lab as a digital transformation and strategy exclusive. And on the right side, we have Fabian Ballesteller. He's a blockchain veteran who was a part of the Ethereum Foundation in its early days from 2015 to 2018. He helped shape the Ethereum space. He helped shape the Ethereum space. Also building the official Ethereum wallet, the first decentralized Web3 browser and tool like Web3.js. Come on. Like, nobody's talking about this. The most used JavaScript library in the blockchain space today. In November 2015, he proposed ERC-20, the token standard that initiated the ICO wave in the DeFi moment. Well, you must be tripping. And I'm not tripping because if we head over to the ERC-725alliance.org, you will see the Ethereum identity standard. You see clear as day, Fabian Ballesteller. This is the home of the ERC-725, a proposed standard for blockchain-based identity authored by Fabian Ballesteller, creator of the ERC-20 standard and Web3.js. So this is huge. Nobody's talking about this. Not even your biggest crypto influencers are talking about this project. All right, so heading over to the Luxo documentation. Here are the standards, pretty much the foundational standards. That's going to be on the main net, but the top two is the universal receiver, and the universal profile. So the universal receiver, which is the LSP1, which is going to allow accounts to be notified about incoming and outcoming transactions. And the universal profile, which is the LSP3, a set of ERC-725 key value stores that are useful to describe a smart contract-based profile. But I'm actually looking forward for the innovative tech that they're bringing with the standards. Hopefully we can play around with them when may not launch. Also, if you're new to Luxo, make sure y'all check out the Medium article, which is a wrap-up for 2022. The puzzle comes together, milestone update 2022 so pretty much just highlighting everything for 2022 they had the l16 test net and you know they was doing a lot of things with the universal profiles and etc make sure y'all definitely check that out so in the bottom section here it says luxo mainnet is around the corner stay tuned for our mainnet updates on january 22nd mark your calendars also i wanted to show you this thread tweet so uh fabian ballesteller kind of broke down the summary of the 60 percent versus 10 percent of the total supply of the Mainnet token. We actually did vote for the 10% and uh, Wolf of Ethereum just broke it down very simply and the people voted for 35 million, the total supply for the mainnet. And then October 26th, Fabian did the final real votes. 80% of the community voted for 10%. So 10% is in the works for the proposal. Yeah, 35 million total supply for Luxo. That's pretty, um, expect a lot of demand when this thing takes off. All right, so taking a look at Luxo on CoinGecko. So it's currently up 6.5%. 4%, uh, it's at $6.86. The circulating supply, which is 15.4 million. I think until we get an announcement when the mainnet is gonna be launching, I'm expecting buy the rumor, sell the news, right? I'm expecting for traders, or investors to start selling after the mainnet launch. I'm hearing rumors about March, you know, first quarter. I'm hoping that it's first quarter. The anticipation of this project is gonna be huge and the demand is gonna be through the roof. In my opinion, I can see a 30 to 50X with Luxo. Also, we have the max supply of 100 million. This is on the ERC20 version of the token. Don't quote me on this. I think we're not gonna release the token until the mainnet launches to release the 35 million. So I think we're still keeping that circulating supply 
at 15.4 million. Um, if that's the case, man, the demand is gonna be crazy. Since it's doing pretty well, it's been pretty uh, synchronized versus Bitcoin and Ethereum. And the all-time high for Luxo was $41. This was one year ago, back in November 4th, 2021. So it's currently down 83.3%. It's just an opportunity, man. Buy low, sell high. Yeah, but that's pretty much it, guys. This is Oliver, and I'm signing out.